Hi everyone, this is Mehmu Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about distributed systems. So a distributed system is a collection of independent computers interconnected over the network and they are capable of collaborating on any task. Uh, distributed systems are independent computer systems okay? and these systems are located in different geographical regions. Although these systems are located in different geographical regions but each and every of these systems are interconnected with each other with a common network okay so if at any point of time if system one wants to send any data to any other system which is present in other location that system can send the data to any other system and as well as all these systems since they are interconnected with a common network each and every of the system can send an information to another system and they can receive the information. So although each and every of these systems are located in different geographical regions but they are capable of collaborating with each other to perform a single task. Okay, so now let us move to the next slide. Yeah, so distributed computing system allows a number of computers located in various geographical locations to work cooperatively. So in distributed system what happens is as I have said these systems will be spread all over the globe. Okay, And these systems are capable enough to cooperate with each and other system okay and they are capable enough in gathering information from other systems and they are capable enough in storing the information in other systems which are located in other geographical regions and they are capable enough in processing the information from various systems okay next point the distributed system runs a distributed operating system to provide an illusion to the end user that such that the entire network is working like a single system okay so these distributed systems has their own operating system which we call it as a distributed operating system and the important point about this operating system is that although in distributed systems different systems are located in different geographical regions but user who is getting the information from those systems that user will never come to know that I am getting this information from that particular region okay I am getting this information from system 1 okay which is located in America. I am getting this information from the system 2 which is located in India or I am getting this information from the system 3 which is located in some other country. Okay, User will never come to know that how these systems are organized and distributed all over the globe. Okay, So all these things will be managed by this distributed operating system. Okay, So user will think that user will have an illusion that entire network is working like a single system. Okay. Next point, distributed systems are heavily depends on computer communication networks such as LAN, WAN and MAN for their functionality. Okay. Here in this case we are, we are getting the information from various systems which are distributed all over the globe okay and we are connected with these systems with a communication network so in this case these networks which are local area network wide area network and metropolitan area network these communication networks are essential for these distributed systems to work perfectly okay so we are dependent on these networks if our distributed systems provide us information uh, so now let us see a few examples of distributed systems okay telephone networks okay telephone networks and cellular networks is an example for distributed systems computer networks such as internet okay so user uh, will never come to know from which system from which part of the globe i am getting the information okay so this computer network is also a, an example of distributed systems atm machines also mobile computing etc okay so all these are the examples of distributed systems and let us see the advantages of distributed systems sharing of resources between various sites is simple and straightforward okay so here in this case of distributed systems we can share information from various systems okay if any if the if one system doesn't have that information then i can get the information from some other system 
okay and i can give that information to my user okay so i can easily share the information and i can forward that information to my users and second advantage is it offers improved performance by distrib by distributing the functionality okay so by distributing the computational load across many geographically spread over sites or workstations okay so in this case of distributed systems we have various systems which are distributed all over the globe and each and every system here is capable enough in responding to the request of the end users okay and here in this system we are not putting the entire computational load on only one system of any geographical region okay now here the computational load is been divided across all the distributed networks as a result of that here the performance gets improved so, uh, these are the advantages of distributed systems okay so in this video we saw what is distributed systems and examples of the distributed systems and the advantages of distributed systems okay so that's all for this video i hope you understood each and every point of this video which we have discussed regarding distributed systems okay and um, if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching